I'm doing my presentation on Lewis Pastor. Okay, so I started off with telling kind of like a description of who he is. Um, Lewis Pastor revolutionized chemistry and biology with his discovery of the mirror image of organic molecules. He is the founder of microbiology, which is one of my favorite subjects. Um, he worked on fermentation. He discovered the anaerobic bacteria, and he established the germ theory that we use still today. In his early life, he was born in the town of Dole of eastern France um, on December 27, 1822. He had one um, other sibling that was a brother. He started school um, at the age of eight at Ecole Premier or <laughs> <our> Voice. <laughs> um, his teachers rated his childhood academic ability as middling, which means that they didn't think he was really set to do anything. Um, so he got a tutor, which helped. Um, he began winning prizes in school and um, his artistic ability increased. He then moved to France and started dormitory school, uh, dorm dormitory school which was um, prevalent back in those times. Um, he started working as a teacher assistant once he graduated, and then in 1845, he earned his science degree. Okay, so his life of science. Pastor began working as a chemistry graduate assistant with Ballard. Ballard was really like a tutor to him, and he really helped him develop the ideas that we still use today. In 1847, Pastor submitted a thesis in chemistry and a further thesis in physics. He was then awarded with his PhD based on these two. He was appointed as a professor of chemistry at the University of Strasbourg. So, um, some contributions he made to science. Um, he created the optically active molecules, um, fermentation, discovery of anaerobic life, pasteurization, which was named after him, um, the germ theory of disease, the silkworm disease, and then the anthrax and rabies vaccine, which is probably his best known um, work. Okay, so I just went ahead and highlighted some of his like big points, really. So pasteurization was a big part of his. Um, what is pasteurization? It is the process of heating a liquid or food to make food safe, which is what we all need to do, obviously. Um, it helps kill the bacteria on the food. I just added some examples. Um, whole eggs removed from shells, dried eggs, and milk. It's really like dairy products. Um, and I also added a graph, with, which hopefully you'll be able to see. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So the next thing that I bulleted was the germ theory of disease. Um, he realizes um, disease were caused by germs. Um, in order to stay healthy, we need to prevent these germs from entering the recommended um, use was filtration, which um, was the expo uh, expo exposure to heat or chemicals to remove germs. Um, one of the surgeons that listened to him was Joseph Lister, which um, he began sterilizing his medical instruments, which is good because obviously in surgery you want to make sure the instruments are clean. So, um, as a matter of fact, um, what Joseph Lister said to him at a meeting when they saw each other years later um, was, as a matter of fact, there's no one living in the entire world to whom medical sciences owe so much to as they do to you. Thanks to you, surgery has undergone a complete revolution, which has robbed of its terrors and has extended its efficacious powers almost without limit. Because obviously he helped um, sterilize the instruments, which helps us to keep um, the surgery area sterile, which means, you know, not as many infections. So. Okay. Then the um, last thing, anthrax and rabies vaccines. So obviously this is very important to everybody. Um, he dis uh, discovered methods to protect people from these two diseases. He devised ways of producing weakened forms of the anthrax and rabies microbes and used these to vaccinate people. So this was a big discovery in science for sure. Um, when injected with these vaccines, the people's immune systems enabled the people to overcome the deadly form of these diseases. And I just added a picture of him making it. Um, this is what I found online, so I think it's legit, so all good things. So in conclusion, Pastor contributed a lot to a healthy life that we all could have. He showed that with persistence, anything is possible. He also contributed to the scientific and medical world in a way that will never be forgotten. Um, so my, I'll leave you with these questions. What are some ways that you would like to contribute to the scientific world? Okay, that is all for my presentation. Thank you.